The accident occurred at approximately 6.45 a.m. on Thursday with hundreds of curious onlookers gathering on the scene of the fatal accident. 15-year-old Frankie Francois, the lone occupant of the vehicle, was driving a white Nissan X-Trail along Fries Hill Road when he crashed into the wall of Woods Mall. The entire vehicle was severely damaged and he sustained severe injuries to his head, neck and chest. His two legs were also broken and there were several lacerations all over his body. Fire officials had difficulties trying to free his body from the mangled metal, even after using the jaws of life. At one point, they even tried tying a hose from the ambulance to the vehicle in their effort to remove the body. One onlooker who was present at the time of the accident told ABS News that Francois may have lost control of the vehicle after reportedly trying to avoid colliding with another motorist who was exiting the Woods Mall. That motorist did not remain on the scene. Unconfirmed reports are that Francois then panicked and pressed on the accelerator instead of the brakes, which caused him to lose control, crashing into the wall. The vehicle eventually careened onto a freshly cleared lot of land some distance beyond the wall. One person close to the family told ABS News that Francois' mother had left for work early and his grandmother was to use the vehicle to drive him to school. However, unbeknownst to the grandmother, Francois left with the car. After being pronounced dead by the district doctor, his body was then removed from the scene in a hearse while the vehicle was removed by a wrecker. Janor Smith reporting for ABS News.